The following World Championship is produced by WCSN, the home of world champions. Strength, poise, and agility combine on the floor and in the air as the best gymnasts in the world gather in search of gold in the Southern Hemisphere. The U.S. women have built one of their strongest teams, led by Anastia Leokin, Chelsea Memo, and Alicia Sacramoni. They look to make history in Melbourne. But in these championships, a year's worth of practice adds up to one chance to soar or fall. Ten events in individual and all-around gymnastics will bring the best to the top of the medal platform. Hello once again, everybody. I'm Craig Elston, welcoming you to Melbourne, Australia, and the site of the 38th Artistic Gymnastics World Championships. Today, we're happy to present for you highlights of the men's and women's all-around competitions, plus individual performances later in the show. We'll start with the men's all-around competition, where 24 athletes will compete in six events, floor, pommel horse, rings, vault, parallel bars, and the high bar. Right now, let's head down to Bart Connor with all the action, starting with the floor exercise. My name is Bart Connor, and I'm proud today to be joined by five-time national champion, Blaine Wilson. Blaine, glad to have you working with us today. It's great to be here, great to be a part of this. Here is the favorite to win the whole thing. Very nice pass. Beautiful. Front double fold to Arabian, to a double twist. Mizutori is... Uh, second qualifier so he's maybe not the favorite to win the whole thing but certainly a favorite to win a medal here and he's back to doing a lot of bounding passes which i like he's getting a lot of bonus i can't blame him you know we always talk about the rules kind of providing guidance for the gymnasts and i can't blame gymnasts for looking for the most consistent and perhaps easiest ways to gain the most bonus points. I mean, it's, what's wrong with that? Absolutely. You have to do what uh, fits your gymnastics, and if, uh, if that's it, then you gotta, you gotta do it. Very nice whip to nice. Chuck Thomas. Well, Thomas, one and a half, twisting one and three quarter, invented by Kurt Thomas, former world champion from the United States. Finishes with a two and a half punch front. Okay, it's, it's clean and it's uh, smart gymnastics, don't Very you think? Very smart. Very smart. I think he's going to score well. <laughs> he's the first guy to stay yes. in bound yes, he all is. day. Right. The Japanese, of course, dominated men's gymnastics for nearly 20 years and uh, in the 60s and 70s. And uh, the greats like Ken Motsu, Sukahara, Kazumatsu. Uh, 9 4 3 7 for Mizutori. Great start. He is our leader at this point. Now from Japan, Hiroyuki Tomita. Well, this is an important performance for Tomita, who was in 10th after the first rotation. He can climb his way back up into podium contention with a good routine here. Had a 9 6 6 2, the sixth highest score on Palm Horse in the qualifying round. So. He's a very, very... He is, is his spot. He's a very solid palm horse swinger. Just had his 25th birthday, the first day of competition here in Melbourne. Boy, I like his form. It's just... They, the Japanese gymnasts have such a beautiful execution and rhythm. Now, and rhythm is the one thing that helps you stay on the palm horse. You're constantly thinking about hands, rhythm. Very nice, clean lines. A lot of one pommel work in the Oh, yeah. Oh! A little bit of a pause at the end, but all in all, good routine. Stays on and you're solid. Uh, I think he's going to like that. That, I, that was really beautiful oh, gymnastics as far as I'm concerned. Clean execution and very sharp in his technique. Look at that score for Tomita. 9-6-1-2, as expected. Uh, He'll move back up into the contention there. It's not over, is it? Ah, uh, no, it's, it's still long week. Solariu of Romania. Of course, the Romanians uh, outstanding in vault. 9-9 nine, nine start value for this vault. He'll do the two-and-a-half twister as well, right? Yes. So fast. Really good twist. Stepped outside the line just a little bit, but solid. 
The key to, to doing these vaults well is to get on the front of the horse as fast as possible. And I'm surprised, honestly, you haven't seen people that do your chankos, which is round off. Mm -hmm. Nine, five, six, two, Solario. Nice, third place currently. Which is a round off to the back handspring, and then, you know, you do layout or a double twist. It's actually the same, same vault that Paul Holm fell on at the Olympic Games. Right, in a similar situation, yeah. hips back and... Uh, Very similar. There's almost no way to recover when your hips are too far back. All right, so Vinkov now. There's a nice peach to handstand with a giant double pike. Nice huh, seen a lot, a lot of different stuff on here. Yeah. Pretty good routine. One of the difference with the new code of points coming in next year is in only a few instances can gymnasts get bonus points for connecting skills. And I think parallel bars is one of the events they're going to have to, to look at for that because everything's intricate you move from one skill to the next skill and that's how we you know, everybody's used to getting their bonus so pretty interesting we've got plenty more to come as we wrap up the men's all-around competition next with rings and high bar as the 2005 artistic gymnastics world championships continue Welcome back to Melbourne, where our leaderboard is tightening up as we move into our final rotation. But first, here's an update on the action so far. Tomita's ring event helped him take the lead with an impressive routine, nailing his requirements and his holds. A solid dismount helped him score 9.562. Russia's Sergei Korohordin improved his chances with a 9.250 on the pommel horse. China's Long Fu Liang posted the highest score of the day on the floor, 9.512. And Romania's Doreen Rasvan Solario added to a strong vault with a score of 9.287 on the high bar. Which brings us to Spain's Rafael Martinez, about to take the stage on high bar. This should be a pretty good routine here. He had a 9.537 in the qualifying. Martinez. Nice laid out to Kachev. In bar full. He's very aggressive. I yeah. like that fast. Yeah, very fast. And that's what the judges like to see. They like to see you move quickly from one skill to the next. With precision, and it's good. Stolter Hopperbacco to mix. So far, so good. Wow, it's a long routine. Finishes with the regular Rubalco to mix. <laughs> There's the reaction that you're looking for. That's the best landing of the day, I think. <laughs> this mounts with the layout full out. Other than Pommel Horse, I think he had a great day. That's right. There you see, you have to be so precise grabbing the bar. Good shoulder flexibility yeah. to get those... Shoulder and wrist. Arms rotated. There's actually the reaction that we were looking for the entire Finally, meeting. Finally, where have you been? 9512, ranked second. 54-948, Martinez is currently in second. Just sitting there. So if you honestly, if you mess up... And you're just stuck. Yeah, everybody's seeing you. <laughs> On the other events, at least you're off to one side or the other. Floor is right in the middle. Kurt Thomas used to say he liked the apparatus because there's always something to hang on to. <laughs> it's almost a sense of security. <laughs> On floor, you are out there, baby. You're just stuck there. Very nice first Beautiful. pass. Beautiful. No deductions for landing. He rolls out. It's full and a half full. Punch Rudy. Very 
Very nice flare work. Nice toe point. Such a good body line. Filling his Arabian or side requirement. The so laid out Arabian one and three. Oh, wow. <laughs> Two and a half punch Arabian. Or, uh, yeah, Brandy. In front of Brandy. Wow. That's a little crooked. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see what he comes up with. Savenkov, 9337. 55 1 1 2. That should be good enough to keep him in third place. Final two performers, the top two in the all around, going back to back here. And as you said, this Big is where releases. the Japanese team really hung it out there at the Olympics in Athens. They did not hold back. No, they did releases just like this. Oh, sweet. In combination. Wow, he's <laughs> going to the bar quite a few times. Another three Kovacs times. at the end. Sweet. He actually only scored an 8-9-5 on this event in uh, prelims. Uh, like we're I'm, looking at a big score today. Obviously must have missed one of those releases. That's going to score well. Huge. Hey, help her a little pressure on Tomita, who yeah. will be the final performer. Tomita will have to be solid. Cannot afford a fall for sure. Very good, very good high bar swing. There you go, 55. 3-4-9, a 9-3 for the high bar. 9-3, that seems like an awful low score. It did. There was a lot in that routine. Yeah, I was looking at 9-5 something. I nine, was too. <laughs> yeah, wow. At least. As you said, this is to meet us to win or lose. I don't know if he can even... Can he still afford a fall and win? He was up at like 8 tenths, wasn't he? Yeah, well, we're going to find out right now, aren't we? So smooth. Yeah. Nice. No breaking for him. Ooh. Boy, he barely wow. got his feet in Working. on that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He's really working this. And this is, this is going to be his. There's your champ. Wow. Wow. The laid out double double at the end. He almost came up a little short. Wow. Rest of his uh, routine was awesome. Mizatori, the score to beat 55, 3 4 9. And look at him. He knows it right there. That could have been the ball game. <laughs> oh, look at that look on Mizatori's face like oh he almost handed it to me even his competitors acknowledge that he's the class of the meet here last world champion for Japan in gymnastics was 1974 uh, 31 years since a world championship and there you have it folks 56 698 the 9337 for that routine Separated by a little less than seven tenths of a point. That would have done it. He falls he on that dismount, it. as you said, nine tenths. Yep. And Mizutori is the champion, so Tomita will win. And Japan will go one two in the all around, with Savenkov taking bronze and Martinez grabbing fourth with a great high bar routine. Up next, we're back for the women's overall competition where American hopefuls Anastia Liukin and Chelsea Memel prepare for their shot at gold. <laughs>